What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I am so glad that y'all came back. This has been a pretty long week for me. Courtney was gone in Atlanta. That's right, she left me alone with the kids from Monday all the way to Thursday night. That is not okay. I lost more hair. I can't afford to lose any more hair. And of course when she's gone, I pretty much ran myself into the ground. Not a good situation. But I'm feeling so much better now and I'm ready to get started on the run. Well not started continue and finish. Because finishing the run would really be something special. All the nailers are up all the way around the run. So now it's just time to unravel the giant roll of chicken wire. That's not what it's called. What are we calling this? Hardware cloth. The giant roll of hardware cloth. That's right. We got to get to work. Yeah, man, it is time to get to work. That's what I'm gonna do. Before I get started, I just wanted to remind you that the t-shirts are on their way. They should be here just before October 10th, which is right before the Homesteaders of America conference. If you're going to the Homesteaders of America conference, find me and I can get you a shirt because I know you want one. I know you want one. Don't you want a shirt? Also, if you love the stuff that we're doing and you're tuning in whenever we get videos out, then do me a favor and subscribe to our channel because that, folks, really helps us out. That and making some comments. Make a comment, give us a thumbs up, do all that stuff. That's the YouTube way. All right, let's get this sucker done. What I wanna start with first is I gotta put the hardware cloth around the bottom. On the bottom here, I went up about 48 inches. The hardware cloth is 48 inches by 100 feet. So I'm gonna roll this thing all the way around. Now. It's more than 100 feet to go all the way around, uh, but I can cheat on every one of the posts. I'm gonna have to snip it, so that way I'm conserving a lot of that fencing. In order to cover the entire thing on the top half, I'm gonna use two inch by four inch fencing. I shouldn't have any problems with predators up here, but I probably will towards the bottom. So we'll over protect the bottom and kind of sort of protect the top. Today, we're gonna start with the hardware cloth because, well, that's gonna take quite some time. Bridget, what do you got going on over here? Picking up acorns. How many acorns do you need? 690, 100. That's a lot of acorns, girlfriend. Do you count them anyways? I'm not counting them. You Mommy? count them. Hey, where's my drink? It's over there. Why Bartender, you... get me a drink. <laughs> You're so goofy. That's what I'm talking about. That's not coffee, folks. But it's good and it's cold. Like, yeah. oh, that was easy. Thought that was gonna cause me a problem. Yeah. 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 yeah, the flat metal wagon that I asked for about 25 minutes ago. Can you go get that? You're the best helper ever. No, really, I need that, or we can't do this at all. Okay, I'm done. I could have gotten all this from Tractor Supply, but I decided to go to a local uh, farm supply store. We try to keep as much as we can local. So what did that mean? It meant I probably spent an extra 25, 30 bucks on it. But it also meant I didn't have to drive the truck 25, 30 minutes away at 25, 30 minutes back. So when you think about how much gas I was gonna burn driving a total of an hour, 
I might have made that 30 bucks back. Not really, but it makes me feel better that I'm gonna support a local business. The people that own the uh, local farm supply store are actually phenomenal people. They run a lot of the farm show stuff here in our town, and they also do a lot for the kids. So the more I can support them, the more I feel like I'm supporting my kids and Courtney's goat habit. What do you got, more acorns? Dump those over there, don't dump them over here. This wire that's on here, I try to save it. I know I could just cut it, but if I have to tie the fence back up, using this helps tremendously. And I pretty much try to use or reuse anything I can. If you see me limping today at all, it's because I did something to my knee and I don't know what I did. I mean, I didn't do something to my knee like Courtney does something to her knee where she's basically unable to function in life, but it hurts and it's not getting better. I went to the doctor the other day and uh, she was like, hey, let's get some x-rays and an MRI because I'm worried about what's going on in there. I try to avoid all that because I just feel like I'm gonna have a surgery I don't want. We got way too much going on for me to have to have knee surgery. Nope. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Surgery. surgery who? I think the cat needs surgery. Oh, that's a funny one. All right, are you gonna help with this or are you gonna disappear again? I didn't disappear. I was checking the goats. Folks, how many of these videos have you seen Courtney in? This whole build. How many has she been in? And how many has she been in and then disappeared? You disappear. You're like Houdini of homesteading. Actually, you're not Houdini of homesteading. You're Houdini of projects. Because you just escape whenever we got a project. Well, in that case. What? Get back here. Come on. I knew it was going to happen. She'll be back. I'm too good looking for her not to come back. What are you laughing at? That was funny. Did you see that? Acorn just dropped from the sky, almost knocked me out. It's not cool. It fell from the sky and it landed right there. It almost hit me. Bridget, it's right there. You gonna put it on your pile? Put that on, don't put that in your mouth. What's wrong with you? All right, well the one thing I've been wrestling with here is do I staple it on the outside or do I staple it on the inside? And I went back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna do it on the outside. And the reason is because the predators are gonna push in. The birds aren't gonna push out. To put it on the inside would have just been cosmetic to make it look prettier on the outside. But I'm gonna put it on the outside because I've got way more surface area and I don't have to, you know, finagle the wire at all. I can just staple it right in and be done. That's what we're gonna do. Finagle, that's a technical term. Finagle is a technical term. Finagle. In Kenny's book of technical doing stuff terms. Does finagle start with an F or a PH? It's a PH, like phenomenal. You are phenomenal. Bridge. You don't eat acorns. You're not a squirrel. Gloves. Gloves would have been a good idea. Don't hurt yourself. I'm not. If you don't have a set of clamps, you gotta get some because they are the greatest extra hand. Unlike other people. Sitting down. Good. See the clamp will hold it exactly where I want it as I take it down this whole stretch. You know, there's probably an easier way to do this. Definitely gotta be an easier way to do this than the way I'm doing it. But... Oh my god, the acorns. Sorry, Bridget, but they gotta go. Ow, it's my nipple! Oh, that hurt. Dang! <laughs> that was that was painful. Absolutely painful. 
I don't want to go the whole way to the bottom because I'm actually going to add another piece at the bottom that goes from here down and out. And then we'll be filling up that with some dirt. We have to go out around the entire edge with dirt to build up the base. So that way everything's kind of buried. So for this, I'm actually going to bring it up to here so it goes to the bottom edge. We're going to have some overlap. Always there to lend a hand. Right? It's my best friend. One of the things I kind of struggle with whenever we do stuff like this is so you start here and all of a sudden you're like gone on an angle and nothing really lines up. So this seems like it's not the most important step, but yet it kind of is. So what I recommend is you do the top corner and then you go to the other side and you do the bottom corner. That should make sure that you've got all the area covered that you want. We're going to actually snip it off and not go the whole way out around the post. We're not going to wrap it because, again, I have to try to stretch this as far as I can get it. Am I going to cut myself on the sides of it if you don't go around? I mean, if you rub against the corner, yeah, you're going to cut yourself. What would you like me to do, sweetheart? I mean, is it really saving that much? It's 100 feet, and we have more than 100 feet to wrap. So don't we need to buy more anyway? I feel like I feel like I can do it, and and we'll be okay. What are you What are you worried about? I'm worried about cutting myself on snipped wire. I'm gonna staple it back. Do you want me to put it on the inside? We don't have as much surface area. No, there. no, uh uh. We decided. You just that's... want me to wrap it. Yeah, it's way too hard to put on the inside, right? I don't know where it'll end then. I don't even know. You what that would means. ask me that question as I'm in the middle of trying to get it done. You know that? You know that? I do know that. It's true. and now it sounds like Courtney wants me to wrap it around. Apparently my math is terrible. I'm gonna trust that Courtney's math is not terrible. The odds of that happening are fairly slim, but I know what's good for me and listening to my wife is what keeps me married happily. small issue there's a tree here which I knew was in my way and I had meant to cut down before I got to this step but of course I am Kenny and I didn't are you gonna cut it down now no I'm just gonna do something stupid and try to throw this giant heavy roll of metal through there instead you think I can do it we're gonna find out I mean, don't you think you need to unroll it a little bit before I you can throw it? I am unrolling it a little bit. Throw it through there? Yep. What, what? No problem. Piece of cake. Maybe you were right, like a lot of right. You heard it here oh, first. Oh, get out of here. I was right. Whatever. Blind squirrel finds a nut too every once in a while. Yeah. 
push this all the way up against and then screw it on after it. Hurry up. Hey girl. You took this the whole way around and there's a camera inside there? We didn't staple on the other side yet. I'm gonna take a break. Hey Courtney, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Stop stealing my moon! I'm just taking taking a break, Courtney, that's all. Just Taking a little break. Oh, come on. I don't have enough. I don't have enough power here. This thing's not filling up. Uh, someone tripped the wire. Well, I knew this was gonna happen, Courtney, but that compressor died and I'm gonna have to get a new one. So, tool time, but it is gonna slow us down. So I'm gonna go run out and get that. Should be back within an hour. We can get started right away. <sighs> okay, we are back in business. You ready to go, baby girl? Should I do a, I got a new tool. This is my got a new tool dance. Why aren't you dancing? Come on, let's do it. Fine, let's get to work. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Watch out now. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time. And I came to groove. The whole band's here and we came to move. Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes. We're here all night like we got nothing to lose. Coming out the jacket cause we're turning up the heat. All right, so the two inch by four inch fencing is gone in the top half, which is right here. And what I did was I've been cutting it in half-ish. So I thought I was gonna be able to cut it in half so I had 24 inches and 24 inches because over here, I really only needed 24 inches. But it turns out I needed more than that because we're gonna go up into here to keep some critters from getting in there. It's gonna need more than what I have in there, but for now it's gonna be all right. Also, because these are at a different height as these uh, mainly because I wasn't paying attention and this wall and the back wall are at one height and then all of a sudden it changes around the other two I wasn't gonna move them again that's like wasted time they're already in they're good and I have plenty of fencing so I cut the fencing at like 28 inches or so which allows me to get up in here but then also have plenty of room to staple onto there so sometimes when you screw up it actually works out in your favor Woohoo! I'm just gonna trim off this excess here and then uh, I can staple it down, go back around and cut off the excess over there. This one here, I'm just gonna cut straight down the middle. That way I can wrap it around and staple it in. It'll just be a little cleaner and nicer. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go around here and then over there. So that way I don't have all this excess because otherwise it's just hanging out and then I won't be able to staple it down. That sounds like a better plan piece I just cut off, I can actually reuse that for the door when it comes around. And now the only thing I have left to do is take this piece here and just kind of fold it over, tack it down. And we're good! There we go. This whole side here is nice and wrapped in flush. So now, I'll just do the other side. But you don't have to watch that because it's the same thing. 
so now this section here is all ready for me to build the door and put it in. So I'm feeling good about that. However, one of my extension cords apparently is no good. This is the problem with having to rely on power via extension cords. Those suckers just don't always work all that well. I think one might have gotten left out, got a little wet, it's got some corrosion on it, and it's not allowing me, well, it's not working. So I can't get the whole way around to the other side anymore, even though I've got a pretty long extension cord, a pretty long hose, it just, I just can't get that far. I'm gonna do my best, see what I can come up with. All right, folks, it is getting dark outside and I'm pretty sure I just heard thunder and it's supposed to thunder and lightning. And I'm not trying to be out here while there's a storm coming, getting electrocuted, hanging on to metal fencing, shooting out some power tools. Not really a good idea. So I'm gonna call it a night and I will get back to this, well, I don't know, tomorrow? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you tune in again. We will see you on the next one. Have a great day, folks. Oh, so it turns out that I didn't actually need a new tool. I just kept tripping the breaker and all I had to do is flip it back on. Shh, don't tell Courtney. I got a new tool. I'm not taking it back. <laughs>